Welcome everyone. Today we are going to look at the new update of Ultimate Windows Tweaker that is the version number 4.6. First of all, let's open the change log and let's place it here. So as you can see there are lots of new changes around here in this version. So let's go over the, that one by one. In the customization section and universal UI tab, there is a new option to disable the login screen blur effect so in the latest version of windows 10 version number 1903 microsoft has introduced a new blur effect for the login screen uh, if you don't like the effect you can disable it uh, using the new update of the tweaker and uh, here you can also see the description using the extended info bar uh, for this tweak and for the most of the tweaks which are supported so along with this if you want to disable the windows update from this section uh, we have made some improvements uh, for the newer version of windows uh, this option now disables some extra bit of services going into the performance tab uh, there are two new options uh, that is the disable microsoft edge preloading and disable edge tab preloading so in the newer version of windows Microsoft has changed the behavior of edge uh, files. Some of the processes are loaded at the Windows startup so that Microsoft Edge can perform better and open faster. Uh, but if you don't use Edge that often, you can disable the whole Microsoft Edge preloading right away and particular new page and start page preloading here. So you can disable them from here. Now heading over to the context menu tab, here you can open the desktop context menu too and you can see that you can now pin some extra options like Cortana, search and apps. So if you just apply the relevant tweaks and uh, open it, there, there is it, you can see Cortana, search and apps. Just Click them and the relevant section of the settings will be open like this. And same for the next and other options. Also, in the other context menu tab, you can customize the new menu. The new menu is this one. Like there are several options, uh, but uh, some of the options are hidden. Uh, so here you can see that by default you will get to see these four options checked uh, okay so by default your new menu uh, should look like something this okay but if you directly want to create a new file of say dot reg and uh, dot bat so you can just choose them here and click apply tweaks and okay let's see here okay this is for dot rag and this is for dot bat similarly you can enable and disable other options as well so this is a very handy feature introduced in the latest version now in the additional you can also edit the new settings here which is the registered owner and registered organization so for me my name is like paras and uh, for the organization I can say example so let's apply it and uh, close it and let's check if it worked okay yes here is the registered owner and this is the registered organization so this has uh, worked really well uh, there is also handy feature to pin screen, screen snip to the desktop context menu so I have already done that uh, it is a replacement for the snipping tool tool of the windows so you can also pin it here uh, in another series of changes you can see that in the universal ui tab you can reset the live tile cache so live tile downloads the data and show them uh, to you but just in case you want to delete the cache to hide some things or just fix some annoying bug 
uh, you can just reset the live tile cache right here so there are also minor changes to improve the performance of the overall tweaker and uh, as suggested by our uh, followers of that tool uh, the minimum waiting time has been reduced to 1000 milliseconds or one second so uh, this is a really good change suggested by some of our readers so this will effectively reduce the errors since if the waiting time is set to be one milliseconds uh, windows can behave wrongly and your programs might fail to open so this change has been made so this was the new update of the ultimate windows tweaker uh, don't forget to tell us in comments how you like the update thank you